After the earthquake in Christchurch in 2011, we learned that diverse communities have a lot to contribute to the recovery of their wider community. We also know that there were many diverse community members who did not get really key important messages such as boil your water, don't bathe in the river, and how to get tsunami alerts after all of the aftershocks. Um, so we've been working hard at Red Cross with Civil Defense to try to overcome this language barrier. We partnered with 45 volunteers from the community who um, produced 15 language translations of the local Wellington Earthquake Guide. Um, from that, we've also been working on emergency message translations so that if there's an event anywhere in New Zealand, we'll be able to provide key messages right away in all of these languages. Uh, for your community, I would recommend to look at your neighbours who are from diverse backgrounds and try to connect with them even if they don't speak the same language as you. Um, a smile goes a long way and sharing food, if you can do that, goes an even further way to connect with your neighbours. Um, also, just to keep in mind, if there is an event, to check out that they have access to those key critical messages and to remember that they can be involved in the recovery as well.